Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining me today for our word of encouragement. We love you, Victory family. We love you, friends. God bless you so very much. And I want to turn your attention to Job chapter 3 and the 25th and 26th verses. The Bible says, For the thing I greatly feared has come upon me, and what I dreaded has happened to me. I am not at ease, nor am I quiet. I have no rest, for trouble comes. Notice the climate of our nation today. It's all about fear. Notice it doesn't matter how many positive things happen. The next thing they do is put something negative up, something that will cause you to take a step back and say, oh, I don't know, I'm afraid. Well, maybe I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Fear has torment. And Job said, the thing I greatly feared has come upon me. He said, what I dreaded has happened to me. He said, I'm not at ease, nor am I quiet. Are you at ease? Are you at ease in your soul? Are you at ease in your mind? The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, the fifth verse, it says, casting down imaginations. Are you allowing the media, are you allowing all that uh, talk about testing and, and we have to get a quarantine before we can get back to normal? Are you allowing that to cause your mind and your soul to be troubled. Paul, or not Paul, but Job said, and what I dreaded has happened to me. Don't you dare open up yourself to fear because what you fear comes upon you. Fear is the opposite of faith. God has called us to do what? Live by faith. The just shall live by faith. By faith, I am redeemed. By faith, I am divinely protected. By faith, no evil befalls me. By faith, no plague comes near my dwelling. By faith, a thousand fall at my side and 10,000 at my right hand. By faith, the angels of the Lord encamp round about me. By faith, the very life of Christ dwells on the inside of me. By faith, greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. By faith, no sickness or disease can live in my body. Don't you dare begin to dread things and get in fear. Don't you dare not be at ease. The Bible says that God will keep us, Isaiah 26, 3, in perfect peace if our mind is stayed on him. Jesus said in John 14, 1, let not your heart be troubled. That's your responsibility. That's my responsibility. Heart be quiet. Talking about inner man. David said, why art thou disquieted within me, O my soul? Don't you dare, I'm saying it again, allow fear to torment you and cause you to, to think that you're going to catch the virus and you better stay at home. You can't interact with anybody. Everywhere I go, I have to wear a mask. Yes, I know the virus is real, but I also know that the enemy is using it. Even the media and some people in the government is using it to try to control our lives and to take our liberties away. And we have to know who we are in Christ and not be afraid of the enemy. We are in the kingdom of God's dear son. Did you hear me? There is no sickness in this kingdom. There is no disease in this kingdom. We're in that kingdom. Don't let fear get a hold of you. Let not your heart be troubled. Speak to yourself. Cast down wicked imaginations. Yes, you can be in compliance of certain things and all that, but don't you do it out of fear. You do it out of respect for the government as it were, if I can put it to you that way. Maybe I shouldn't even say that. I'm saying to you, my friend, you're covered by the blood of Jesus. You put your faith in God. Put your faith in the blood. Plead the blood of Jesus. Use the name of Jesus. Know the greater one is on the inside of you, and you walk in peace. Jesus said, and I'm closing right now, my peace I give you. My peace I leave with you. Don't let your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Hallelujah. I call you full of health and peace and full of joy today and, and free from fear in the name of Jesus. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget now, we have eBlasters, some guidelines for our service on Sunday morning. For those of you that are coming to be with us, we haven't been together for two months. We want to come together this coming Sunday, but there are guidelines that we gave. we like for you to follow those guidelines, adhere to those guidelines so that we can do things decently and in order. God bless you. Love you.